let's back. And yeah, just really keeping us focused. You can tell how focused he is. He's not really freaking out or getting emotional. Just like, I think I'm gonna die. No, I didn't. I'm gonna stay here. Wait, now let's back. So really focus in this game now is flawless. Yeah. T1 just got Mountain Dragon. So that'll end up being valuable in the later stages of the game. And if it's only a, a bit of amplification right now, as we're having ping pong everywhere again. We had some good plays up on the top side, some proactive plays to try to outplay your opponent, so. I don't mind if they settle into a little bit of a lull state here. And your T1 right now, I mean, sometimes they're games, so you end up going like this, and then eventually it breaches the mid-late game, and they win T fights. That's uh, typically what ends up happening very often, as AA Trox, he has the Ninja Tabby, has the Phage, has the Warhammer, has the Doron Split as well, as Hana trying to trade against him. Flawless up here as well. Now, Flawless is not really farming all that much in this game. No, nope. he's been incredibly active and aggressive. Just in the enemy jungle. Demolish Frog gonna come in here. They're gonna try to force the fight, but Ana is the meal. That's right. Shared gold goes over to Flawless there, but first turret will go the way of the APK and Ixu. He's stacking up the gold. He's the first guy with the bounty. Two and zero. Great high level farm in the game. Gets the first turret. He's going to be on a, a big roll in this one. Well, Kana, is he freezing? Hold on here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. 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 Hold on here, we're gonna need to see what happens on this second wave. It's really not pushing that fast. I can't tell. Okay, so coming in here though, the sun is gonna go down and Equalizer does just about zero. As Baker tried to help out his buddy. He's freezing. I think, well I mean he's trying to, he's, he's slowly pushing it. Yeah. You can see on the mini-map, Rob died, we don't, we don't. Yeah, that happens. Yes, it happens. And now that the Equalizer is down, they can't push the wave back. They need to call Cuz over here to help with this one. Rumble doesn't have the best wave clear unless he's able to get close to the wave. So they will do it eventually, but that's two plays extra. Yeah. That will go the way of EPK. And Faker, right now, he has the Merc Trends as well as an Oblivion Orb. And so... Uh, some, uh, that is actually a, a bit surprising itemization. I would imagine that if he wanted to maximize damage value, he would just go sword pen boots with Oblivion or for the 33 pen. What? 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 Flash. Is that what the APK play with Window Code? Go well, on the other side of the arena. I know, so I we can't know that see. two of them do. Yeah. <laughs> We've gotten that information. And to be honest, before a couple of days ago, we haven't seen too many of their highlight plays. So now that they're beginning to win, it's, uh, it's cool that we get to find out a bit more about APK. Keep in mind that C1 had pretty low uh, golds. They're winning in gold difference at 10 minutes. Yeah. So they were like 42%. It was 6 for 14 games. And so they're, they're behind again here. But it's not like they haven't come back from a position like this many times. Actually, more often than not, they do. The game really hasn't unfolded yet. We have 30 seconds until the ocean drop. That's a very nice noise. Actually, double. Little flame spitter right the there. Spitter, yeah. yeah, very common noise. It sounded like brown noise. Do you ever use brown noise? I've uh, to I've, sleep. No, no. but I, I've heard it before. Okay. Well, oh, oh, oh. Is she freezing? She hit the cannon. I can't. 
can't tell. I saw a lot of, uh, I lot think of ice. Shot there. Yeah, I think she did too. Yeah. They're probably calling her mid. They keep Soon. pushing so hard. We, we need the evolution to end up happening. You know, yeah. we're almost there. You know, one wave at a time. One wave at a time. Mountain Drake went to T1 first. Early on. Now Oast Drake is going to be picked up here. And it will be Infernal Soul on the map. Which, honestly, is, is awesome for both of these teams. So we'll see which one of them can take it down. You can imagine Infernal, Infernal on Rumble and Ezreal. And pretty much all of them. The Infernal Soul and the stats is going to be nice. Same side of AVK. And the ping pong is just going to continue, Valdez. We are going to get the never ending ping pong. Baker, thank everything, did not end up building the Forbidden Book. <laughs> he did put on his mask. He's, he's, been, he's been studying. You know? Yeah. He's been doing a little bit of stuff. You know, no one cared about his itemization until he built the mask. <laughs> That's true. I don't know if there's any truers around these parts, but I feel like that was really the highlight. And, well, this red bump has been APKs the entire game. They're going to take it again. And another objective over there at the Rift Heralds. Maybe then they can finally push in the mid lane. And then after that, I would imagine that probably another fight down at the Infernal Drake, maybe some pushing down on the tier yeah. one in the bottom lane. So I, I feel like what, what's going to end up happening here is we're going to wait three and a half minutes until the Infernal Drake, and then at that point, we'll have a key fight. T1 will mechanically outperform APK. And then, hold on, I have to turn the page here. And then, they'll go on to get some objectives. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't think they're going to use the Rift Heralds prior to that? Um, can't read this handwriting. <laughs> she sometimes has famously bad handwriting. She really does. Everybody knows. Yeah. <laughs> She's probably listening like, what? And, uh, yeah, I mean, he wants just looking for picks if they can. You can see they're, they're not playing ultra passively, even though they are behind in the game. And... There's, not, there's nothing that's going on. I don't know what else... Hey! There's a... Oh, hold on! Ultimate's gonna come down. They're gonna get slowed down by the GLP. He never used his ult. Yeah, he held on to it. He would've killed him. Decided not to. He says, well, I'm going to force him out anyway. That's as good as a kill. Maybe I can hold my ultimate for the next fight. And right now, just T1 falling further and further behind. 3,000 gold is the advantage right now for APK. And I don't think this is how anyone would have predicted that this game would be going as big trade. By Kana, getting chunked a little bit. Iksu just trying to shove in the wave. Death Stand is gonna end up coming out. Second here for the Atrox. Gold advantage is about three and a half thousand. Yeah, slowly but steadily, they've been pushing the issue. They got their kills on the on the right TVs as well. Um, hold on here, I need it. Oh, Let me get no. my photo. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, you, you might as well wait for Cinder at the finishers. Oh, I didn't get both. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm just gonna finish it in, in such a short amount of time. I, I, I'm trying to think why he would have Morello in a spot like this. Would you like he already to, uh, had the opinion. Do you want me to break it down for you? <laughs> Well, okay, so Aatrox, he's got a lot of healing. Actually, no, no, no. At, at that point, you have the Haunted Eyes and you have the Oblivion Orb. So, you invested 1400 into the Morello when you could have invested just 1600 into getting Leandris for this next team fight. Nah. They need to cut down the healing from each. <laughs> Stop. He 
there's gonna be burning a traps in the front line, you know? That's, that's really it. There's definitely like two tours in the chat, there you get it. <laughs> it's actually really sad. Yeah, just think about how much more value you have for this fight. Yeah. It's such an important yeah. fight, too. Like, it's ridiculous how much better you would be doing this next fight if you had bought the correct item. And so instead, you just sit there. I mean, posturing right now. And T1 now playing this very cautiously. They're on pretty even footing for this team fight, though. Actually, I think that T1's even favored. Could happen. They get the double knockup into the equalizer. The cast as well for the burst. Kana is just going for the assassination attempt, and it's going to work out as flawless. As a stopwatch, really nice item. But take a look at the Aatrox. He's full health here, trying to dunk him down. But again, the stopwatch is going to be able to stop it here, and everybody on the side of APK 